In this quick video, I'm gonna take you through 10 cool weather crops that you can put in the ground now before your last expected frost. Stay until the end and I'll share a couple more that you may have not thought of. So let's get into it. This is Tim. Organic Backyard Gardening is focused on helping you grow more food with our tips and tricks. If you like gardening and wanna grow more food, subscribe to this channel. Here in New England, it's about six weeks before the last expected frost. If you need to find your last frost date, you can use the tool on my website in the link below. Also on my website, I have a handy chart that shows you germination times for crops at different temperatures. Crops germinate at different temperatures. Cooler weather crops germinate at cooler temperatures, and many of these can be planted out as soon as you can work your soil in the spring. Nature will then take over and germinate the seeds at the right time. So the first crop is peas. Although freezing weather is in the forecast, we can work the soil and we're planting peas today. Peas will germinate in temperatures as low as 40 degrees Fahrenheit. We plant them on the north end of our garden and we'll install trellises when they're about an inch tall. Second crop is beets. Beets can be planted as soon as the soil can be worked. You can harvest them for beet greens or for their bulbs. You can also sow them every two to three weeks for a continuous harvest through midsummer. Radishes. They are one of my favorite spring crop because they grow so quickly. They can be harvested in about 22 days. Several plantings can be made in the spring, starting at about six weeks before your last expected frost. By the time I'm done harvesting radishes in the late spring, the soil has warmed and I'll typically succession plant beans in their spot for a late summer harvest. Arugula. This is another plant I sow as soon as the soil can be worked. It will germinate in soil temps as low as 40 degrees Fahrenheit and young plants can survive a light frost. Seedlings grow nicely in temperatures from around 45 to 60 and they're ready to harvest in about six to eight weeks. Kale. Kale is another plant that I direct sow and I also like to start transplants inside as well to get a head start. It needs about 60 days to full maturity, so getting a head start is a good idea. Kale plants for us are highly productive through the summer months and into the fall. Lettuce can be directly sown as soon as the soil can be worked as well. Directly sowing has an advantage as you can sow more tightly, which is perfect for the cut and come again harvesting method that I'm doing here. Lettuce plants grow best in temperatures between 45 and 65 Fahrenheit, so it's a good idea to get these seeds in the soil in early spring. Swiss chard is another great cool weather crop that can be directly sown. You can grow rainbow chard to give your garden and your salad bowl some vibrant colors. Swiss chard also continues to grow well through the summer months. I typically harvest the outer leaves and the plant will produce through the late fall. Carrots. Many people make the mistake of starting carrots outdoors too late. Carrots are always direct sown, and the trick is they need to stay moist. I typically direct sow about two to three weeks before my last expected frost. I water and then cover with a board so that they don't dry out. I then take the board off once they germinate. Spinach loves cool, damp weather. Spinach can be overwintered, started in the fall, covered with mulch, and then it will continue to grow in the spring. You can also direct sow as soon as the soil can be worked. It will need about six weeks to develop from seed to greens. It will quickly bolt at the end of spring when the weather warms, so make sure you sow early. Seeds thrive at around 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Seed potatoes can be started two to three weeks before your last expected frost. You don't want to start them too early as the foliage can be susceptible to frost. If they do get hit with frost, they'll recover, but it'll take up more energy from the plant. If you do see frost in the forecast, protect the plants with a covering like row covers. A few others that you can direct sow before your last expected frost are broccoli, parsnips, and turnips. Are there any others that you start before your last expected frost that I didn't mention? Put them in the comments below. I hope you found this video helpful. 
If you need any help planning your garden, check out our Plan My Garden tool. Enter your zip code, draw your garden layout, select what vegetables you want to grow and how much space you want to allocate to each. Check out and then we'll send you an email with a PDF that has a visual schedule for each vegetable you selected, a getting started guide, a grow guide for each vegetable selected, and your garden layout updated with optimal plant placements for maximum yields. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.